little bit of color there this morning. Clouds came in. A little wind last night too. I got a feeling I got a whole bunch of screwed up windrows this morning. And that's in, so I'm going to shut the pump off and get it moved. It's got one more setting there. And then, I'm not sure where we're going to go with it, but by the time it's in tonight, it'll probably get shut off. I really need to probably go back down there in the bottom where Dino's group is. Or we can run a little one there. Which then kind of says, well, I really need to run it over in the bottom over there where Bam Bam's group is. That means moving pipe. I wish we had enough up there to get to the fence and then go down toward the fir tree. But the only way to get there is to move it over to the next riser. And the colors are changing. So, a um, little bit of a do this morning. See it on some of the shorter grass. Can't really see it on the taller stuff. Hopefully the dew doesn't screw us. You know the wind was picked up pretty good for a little bit last night. It was good before I came out and moved the traveler. After I got in, about the time I put the video up last night. And it was probably an hour later this was in to get moved, so. But, i get it moved now. Otherwise, I'll be out here too late tonight doing anything. If it's early enough, maybe I'll put it someplace. I don't know. Would be nice if, if the old man would have just bit the bullet back in the day and spent the money and run some more underground. But, you know, when you still had kids that would work and you still had half mile of main line and half mile of sprinkler lines you didn't need to put all the underground in oh anyway I see a kibosh down for some breakfast usually when I see him anymore he's something spooked him and he's flying up out of the creek bank like that. You should see when he's about right there. Not necessarily in the same place, though. Um, right over across the creek from where he was just at there, a few years ago, we saw a baby Ichabod. They're pretty cool looking. Actually, I had to look up in the book to see, you know, online to see what the hell it really was for sure. We thought it was, but because they don't look much like mommy or daddy little big enough to be on its own but you know and yeah I don't know why all the Bam Bam's group was already in but Nina had to come running over to there to start complaining to the ones that he could see yeah crotch the old bastard anyway that's off so I can go move stuff it dribble for a little bit. No, I'm not going to listen to it. I'm going to get away from it. Not sure what you can really see, but you see the white spot and a little red that she doesn't want to show. It's ulcerated. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not pink eye, as we know that from earlier. That is just, uh, no, it's not triple. Yes. Yeah, it is. It's triple antibiotic ointment. There's a few people around that swear by it, so we've used it. And polysporin works, too. Polysporin works very well. It's a cousin of neosporin, in case anyone wonders. It's one of the triples. And I don't know what the puffer is exactly. What's it Neopredis. Neopredis. There's also another property that works very well as long as you're as long as your bovine or canine. <clears throat> anybody that knows knows. So we put the ointment in first. I think she's gonna uh, 
<laughs> yes, so cooperate today. <laughs> Being stupid. And the idea is we're going to patch her too. The flies have been after it. The flies have been trying to get at it. And, you know, if, if it was a cow, we'd probably give her a shot of L.A. too. I hate giving L.A. to calves. Because it's kind of a bad experience. So figure out that she's doing it to herself. Anyway. Oh, yeah, this is Mel, there. by the way. Oh, so uh, Murph cakes. There, Murphy, your mother's being a <laughs> today. Sorry, Mel. What? Well, like 30 seconds later, she chose to really do it. Scuffed the shit out of both hinds. Smashed her nose. So she's going to get some blue coat on nose. And hopefully she doesn't decide to go ape shit right here. And uh, now we got to get her up. Always fun. I do have one calf patch. It's, it's much nicer when they cooperate. And she has one calf patch. God, that's an old patch. Probably a used one. It is a used one. Not sure why she's trying to peel something off that's on the outside. It's a used yeah. one, but it's uh, nice. Yeah, it is used. Yeah. Get a little extra hair on it. That glues on over the eye. You glue it above, and the eye will be about where my finger is. And then... <laughs> And leave the. Hey, if she's gonna go this way. I gotta get her from Yeah. Her. We'll get it figured out. Well, once she got up, she fully cooperated and walked right in where we needed her, just like this. The uh, head gate's a little big for her. Uh, maybe somebody put it in the wrong spot before. That's why. Hmm? The top's open. The pins are in, but it's open farther. Anyway. The wetness on that is some fly spray. It's glued from about here up and about here up. So the bottom's open and it didn't lay like I wanted because, you know, you just patch, it's kind of stiff. It just didn't want to lay out right. But it's covered. Put a fly spray around here. Hopefully keep the flies away from it. They shouldn't climb up under there anyway. Shouldn't. And that'll stay on for... Until so realistically it falls off. Yeah, until it, it'll fall off. And we'll find we're, it. We're usually lucky enough to find them. If not, uh, you know. But anyway, she's done. We'll let her back out. She's going to have to get used to, uh, well, she probably ain't seen a whole lot out of that eye anyway. No, with the ulcer in the middle. Mm -hmm. And hopefully here in about a week or two, she'll be all good. Hi. Been a busy morning. Literally got that patch on that calf and went to get the halter off her. She peeled the freaking patch off. So close the head gate up like it should have been to begin with. Got her back in, put it on, calmed her down, got her out of there. She's got purple down by her hooves now. She, she scraped them all up when she was screwing around in there. And the dog's going to get sick for you. And, uh, Drilled a drain hole in the bottom of the auger boot on that bin. I thought I had one in there, but apparently not. Made a bolt to plug it with, so when everything's dry, we can plug it back up so we don't lose anything out of it. And she just got done hitting that with the 15 degree nozzle and just couldn't get down very far. And I was looking for something to make an extension so she could reach farther. And I got I got couplers and everything, but not the right one that I need for one end. So I said, hey, is there a straight tip in there? Yeah, there is. So that's what she's finishing with. And from what I can see from here, I don't see a bunch of crap stuck inside the bottom of the cone now. And she gets done with that. And I told her, probably take the hose to knock anything that, you know, gets blasted back up. So anyway. And this is what our day has become. It's 70 degrees, muggier than shit. 
and I'm going to see if I can get the big baler out and bring it up by the shop. See what I need for pins. I think we're just going to use bolts on this side because you don't need to take the clevises off. And uh, the bad thing is these case tractors in this part of the country, that park looks wonderful if you're on flat ground. There's just enough of a slope in that barn that if that tractor was in park without being blocked, you'd never get it out of park. So usually I back up a little and somebody pulls the blocks. I don't have that luxury at the moment because I'm not going to have Ty come clear back here just for this. So I'm going to drive over them, which means I just got to be careful with the pickup on the baler. That's not the first time I've done it. Won't be the last. But see if we can get the freaking spring changed on this before we do any more. Just because, you know, there's over 50,000 bales on it. And if you figure how many strokes per bale, I mean, the shorter bales were generally 34 plunger strokes. And if you're in good material, almost every plunger stroke, the stuffer stuff. Well, actually, no. It's not plunger strokes that the monitor counts. It's stuffer strokes. It tells you how many flakes there are per bale. Go to an eight bale and you're oh, pushing 50 strokes, I suppose. But, I mean, we're usually 34 strokes, give or take. But that's how many times those springs have had to stretch out and relax. If you want to do the math on that, I'll let you. I'm not going to do it. I just know that it's done a hell of a lot. So, anyway, get her out of here, do something. Well, we're on our way. Yes, we're convoying a little bit. My mom's technically behind us. Um, there's a hill way up there between the trees. But we don't know. I don't know. I won't be passing you. So, that's kind of my block for the driveway that I have to get into is actually the top of that hill. Um, it's going to be a challenge to get in there, but it is what it is. I got the entire road to do it. So here's the day of bailing. If you look right here, there's a recycle and there's a garbage can, both taking naps. <laughs> Dumbass. People that moved in there a few years ago, they like to put them out in the road. And they've gotten better, but guess what? I got the recycle because it was sitting way out. We tag team that shit. And she <laughs> got the garbage can. And they got a, a crew of Mexicans here mowing the lawn and stuff today. And <laughs> a crew of Mexicans here. Um, <laughs> Thailand said that one was just laughing his ass off. He was doing the pee pee dance. So, anyway, I was going to get you video moving over there, but I didn't. Uh, oh, I did. We, we moved both trailers, and she said she got video. So it's the wrong way, though. That's the it's the wrong way, but that's okay. But You'll get over it. Oh, and that looks like the same dumbass bicyclist that tried to run into the Oh, front my of the God, tractor. it is, and he tried to run into the baler of mine. I'll just run yeah. over. Looks over his shoulder to see what's coming behind him, but doesn't do Second it day. when he should. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Probably does. That's going to be a long video today. Sorry about that, but you'll get over it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the toaster sitting there. I, I drove it for the very, very, very first time. Yeah, it's different. But we'd be going. That trouble over there. I did a few back cuts, kind of in the opening over there and then in that corner. So when I raked it, I could get things straightened up. They ended up like being three or four rows together. Yeah, second gear just wasn't my best choice. It was great till I got there. And some of this is heavier than. I thought it was. I mean, that window is actually a pretty good sized window there. Peter's out right in front of me, though. And Ty's got a few bales on the ground in the other field. Says things are going all right, so. I got, what, three? It must be four on the ground now. I can't see behind me. I got one about to drop anyway. Right drop it right here on the frickin' car. I don't have to walk home. Oh well. Well, she had fun plugging in the field she was in. 
You'll see the video tomorrow. She got me some video to send you. And I did her. Other side of those trees. <coughs> That's some nasty stuff, too. Wet fucking catfish. There's one freaking spot that was wet, and it was still wet. And, well, in the corner, turning. It was in the shadows and the sun in my face. Yeah. That's how I plugged the second time today. So, anyway, I'm going to leave you here. We're going to find out if it'll upload from here. Otherwise, it's going to be plenty late because it's already... Oh, about when I'm usually trying to upload it. <laughs>